singing happy birthday to Eric. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, that's what time it is. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to The skag is in the shop, so um, apparently the uh, the baffle, whatever you know, the the tip coming out of the exhaust that keeps it quiet, was broken off, um, or fell off, or blew off. Nobody knows how it happens. Um, you know, I, it's you have to. It would just if somebody backed into something and broke it, it would really have to be by chance because, you know, you have about a four five inch opening vertical and then it's you know about eight or nine inches wide it's just it's such a small area um, and it'd have to be a pretty thick branch or something to back into with the mower so um, either way the guys at skag were awesome actually my dealer um, my representative my rep my skag rep ken that guy is so awesome but anyway he got it all covered under warranty um, so that was great and i really appreciate it we have no idea how that came off. The mower is a year old. Um, something, something freak. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so they lent us a John Deere mower, 72 inch. Good God, this thing's a beast. I don't know the numbers right offhand of it because it was such a cluster yesterday, man. Everything went wrong. Uh, but anyways, yesterday ended up getting the fender fixed, getting the axle replaced on the trailer, uh, rim replaced on the trailer, all that stuff, you know, from, um, you know, from last week. I had to run back and forth, get mowers, you know, drop the mower off. They had to, you know, I had to go pick up a mower to use because the hustler stopped working and the hydros, you know, bled everywhere again for the third time. Um, and it looks like it's coming um, from the middle of it where the seal is, that where, where it puts together, um, where the housing comes together. So I just got to go drop that off. Don't have time right now. So um, I'm going to let you guys see this John Deere. This thing is a beast, man. Um, I didn't, you know, I wasn't into John Deere that much, I'll be honest with you. Years ago, um, I looked at them. I thought that they handled the embankments amazingly, but otherwise I didn't really care for the mower. Um, but this is a loaner, not like I would buy it, but I will show it to you guys while I have it. There is some really cool stuff on it. And I got to say, I really would not be interested in owning it because of the gadgets it has on it. It's just something else to break down. Um, but it does have like a handle where you can raise the deck and lower the deck with a push button. You can kill the blades on the right hand side with a push button. Um, you know, the, in the deck leveling system, the knob, I can already tell you, is, is a no-go. Um, you can't even tell exactly what setting you're on because it there's so much slack and play in it. And this thing's brand new. Um, there's so much slack and play in it. Um, I think that, um, you know, the, the deal that they have with the raising, the lowering, the, the kill switch for the, uh, for the clutch, you know, I think that that's really cool. Uh, but I can tell you right off right now that, um, they're going to have to redo their deck leveling system. Um, it's just, it is not kosher. I, I took the girls to school this morning. We drove them on the Gravely Atlas. Of course they freaked out and they loved that. So they looked, you know, they were the cool kids in school this morning. Um, all six kids that were out there and watched us pull up. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to meet the guys over here at the property and we're going to get busy. I was going to break the drone out, but there's too many trees here, and I ain't about to wreck that thing. You know what I'm saying? All right.
so I wanted to talk to you about this really quick. This is a 970R by John Deere. Um, the Skag had an exhaust problem, somebody backed in to something or the exhaust blew out, I'm not sure. I think it blew out, um, but either way, they're taking care of it. Um, and the Hustler is pouring out hydraulic fluid, so I was down a mower, and the guys at AgPro were awesome enough to lend me a mower. So they gave me a 72 inch um, John Deere. This thing is, is a beast, man. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely big and it's it's heavy um, and it's it's a monster, dude. Um, there's some really cool things on this on this machine though that I wanted to point out. First off, you guys, you know I've said it before. I'm, I'm not really a big John Deere, you know, fan. Uh, I've tried them out before. I just never bought one. There are just certain things that I ended up not liking about them or whatever. But um, let me point out the things that I do like. 72 inch deck really has nothing to do with like or dislike. But for this demo that they let me use as a loaner while I'm getting repaired. The 72 inch was awesome. Um, the size of the deck is great. Um, the casters are really solid on this thing. The seats, um, you know, pretty comfortable. Um, it could be better. The deck leveling system is pretty simple, pretty easy. Plenty of power. I think it's a 35 horsepower that comes with this thing. The cut's okay. I'm gonna tell you things that I don't like about this mower and why personally, even though I'm just, you know, it's on a loaner, why I wouldn't buy it. There are some neat gadgets, but I'm not gonna say that I like them because ultimately I wouldn't want them. Well, here's a couple other things that I do like. Um, whenever you're mowing, um, you have two switches. You have a push button on the inside of this handle right here and the inside of this handle right here. On both inside of those handles, you have push buttons. One kills the, um, the blades and the other will lift the deck up, and that's really awesome. I like the kill the blade thing. That, that's really cool, and I like how you can lift the deck um, you know, with the push of a button, um, but there are certain things that I don't like about that. I'm gonna point it out to you and then I'm gonna show you real quick. The deck leveling system is a, is a turn knob, um, but let me show you real quick before I move the camera um, how the deck leveling system works and all of that stuff. Okay, so let's get back with the cool and not cool. The fact that you have handles that come in with push buttons to raise the deck and lower the deck and to shut off the blades, I think that that's really awesome. I think it's really cool. Um, here's my problem with that. When you're mowing, I like being able to manually lift the deck to where I want to lift it. Um, but the thing is, is on this, it doesn't have that. You guys tell me if I'm wrong, because this is the first time ever on this thing. But if I want to, say if I'm going up and there's a, like a little hump and I want to try to use like the Jedi force and I want to manually push the deck and raise it up so I can stay with that contour and then lower it back down, you cannot do that with this. Um, that button is either the deck's all the way up or the deck is where you set it. Um, so that part I do not like. I want to be able to control the height of that deck above where it's set, you know, for obstacles and, and anything like that. This is either where it's set or it's all the way up. So I don't like that part. Um, I love being able to kill the uh, blades with that little push button. It's pretty sweet. Um, I'll tell you that the handles, man, you will definitely get like a forearm workout on this thing. Like no more I've ever used before. I highly advise the little placements where the thumbs go to use that and it puts less, Just it just fatigues your forearm a lot less on this. But all day I've been mowing like this, man, and my, my forearms are pretty, it's pretty stiff. So my forearms are pretty fatigued from it. So once I opened up and I put my thumbs in the place where they go, um, the fatigue definitely like kicked off. So that was pretty cool. Um, I also love how um, you put the emergency brake on and it kills the blades. I think that, that that's awesome. Um, but then you have to, you know, there's a switch right there you have to push off. You have to push it back on in order to, you know, turn the blades back on. Um, now the only thing with shutting the blades off, you know, I think guys will get used to just turning the blades off and you know, you should throttle down and back up, um, you know, in between 
you know, before and after you're engaging your blade. So I'm not sure if they've got something figured out with that or what. I did try engaging the blades when it was full throttle and it definitely wasn't that jolt that you're used to. It almost clutched itself in, which was, which was nice. Um, the rest of the time I just did it how I'm normally used to it. So let me show you guys a couple of things real quick. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about right here. You have this push button. You have one here and you have one right there. So this one right here will raise the deck up and down and the right side will kill the uh, blades when they're spinning. So um, this right here just has one fuel tank um, gauge, which is nice and forgive me, I have no idea how much, um, how much fuel this thing actually takes. Um, here's your 35 horsepower back here. Um, you know, the roll bars on these things are, are pretty, pretty awesome, but I do like to angle, I like uh, to anchor these things all the way down. Um, we just left it, you know, we just left it like that. Um, one thing that I'm not really comfortable with though is the exposure of the belts because sticks and things jump up on here and that can shred a belt and destroy it, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Um, so here is the leveling, the deck leveling system. So I'm going to tell you guys my issue with that. I don't, I don't trust it. Um, this thing has only got a hundred hours on it, so it's fairly new. Um, and you see the play. Um, and you're just basically kind of feeling out when it changes, um, you know, when it changes level. And it's not like very, it's, you don't feel confident when you're um, raising it. You know, but other than that, like it's, it's, you know, it's good to go. So um, I just wanted, I'm not gonna make this lengthy. I just wanted to point out some things that I liked and some things I didn't like. Um, again, the the parking brake system with that little bottom, it's got like a little bottom spot where you have to push it and it releases the brake. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I don't really care for that. I don't like that. I don't like how the deck um, either goes to one extreme or the other. I don't like that you can't manually control it or or there's not a touch sensitive um, you know button on here. Let me adjust this guy, sorry. There's not a... Um, you know, touch sensitive like button, you know, hydraulically you can go the harder you push it, uh, maybe the slower, the faster the deck raises or you can hold it, you know what I mean? Um, so I don't like that part. Um, the deck itself is, is good. I always give it this test. I'm going to do a video on, um, I call it spit or swallow. Does your, does your deck on your mower spit out debris or does it swallow it up? My V, uh, the VF4, um, the Hustler is horrible. I mean, you look like you took a bath in dirt just from, um, you know, curb on um, and curb off whenever you're mowing. The um, the Skag's not like that. The John Deere's not like that. So I give it good points for that. This thing handles, this John Deere also handles really good on embankments. Um, I will say that this particular machine is really heavy, so it's not forgiving on the turf whatsoever. I had to be super, super careful turning around a couple of times I caught this thing wanting to just rip the grass up, even as careful as I was turning around. Um, but I really don't have much more to say about it. It definitely looks like it's, I mean, it looks like, I mean, it looks like an army tank, man. This thing is is built well. I mean, never have I had an issue with with uh, saying John Deere mowers are, are not built well. They're built like tanks. But I'm referring to this particular model right here. Um, and this, I don't know if they put this on a lot of their mowers, but the raising the deck up and down is cool, but I just see that as a very expensive piece to replace later. So I'm fine with doing it by, you know, by foot manually. Um, but I don't like, you know, like I mentioned, there's just things about it I don't like. Um, the seat comfort, the seat ride on this, um, I'm sure there's an upgrade. It wasn't that comfortable. Um, when this thing is sitting, the vibration on your back like almost chatters your teeth. The vibration is so bad. Um, just from sitting here idle with the throttle all the way up, um, you feel it through that seat back and it definitely like rattles your teeth, man. Um, but I'm not sitting here slamming this thing. Like it's great. It cuts. It's John Deere good, you know, all that. Just, I, I just don't, I don't like the cut. I don't think the cut that is that great. The seat ride is not that comfortable. I don't like the parking brake system. I don't like their deck leveling system. Um, and things about stuff I do like, I don't like. But um, I wouldn't buy this, but um, I could see why people buy it all day long. Because it is neat. It's pretty awesome. And if you're doing stuff with a 72-inch mower, I mean, if you're mowing big fields and all of that and, you know, straight acreage, um, then I could just see this being awesome um, for that. 
like I said, lifting the deck up and down with a touch of a button is really cool and shutting the blades off in case of an emergency. You're not having to turn around and like look for the PTO switch and all that. Um, so that's really cool though. Um, but I give it to them, you know, I definitely give it to them. They put a lot of thought into some things that makes our job easier. So good on you, John Deere. Um, but that's, that's all I got to say about that. I think I'm gonna wrap it up now. All right, guys.